What's going on guys? Mitch here. Today we're taking a look at a cool new pair of shoes from Specialized. These guys were launched recently. You may have seen it on some of the websites. There we have it. This is the S-Works Torch Lace. And if you know much about me, I've been riding the S-Works Torch uh, non-lace, so the BOA dial, uh, for the last little while. And I uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys another perspective here. Check out another pair of shoes, similar in a lot of ways, but uh, different in a lot of others. So let's get into this. This is just an initial unboxing. We have some information there if you wanted to pause and take a look at their body geometry stuff. It's always cool. Um, I dig how these guys come with a little bag, which is great for travel. And I love how it's mesh as well. A shoe manual in case uh, you guys need to understand which shoe goes on which foot. Very technical. Uh, all jokes aside, I'm sure there's some good information on cleats, cleat placement, things like that, I'm guessing. Inside here, let's get into this. And remember, I don't know if you watched last week, I uh, got a big shipment of stuff in and I actually did already open this, so it's not a factory complete unbox, but I did my best to kind of pack things up a little bit, but you'll get the experience. It's not a big deal. So there we go. Two shoes. Um, one thing I will say, as sad as this is, it's always a good idea when you do get a new pair of shoes, just double check right off the hop that both are the correct size, because with shops, Specifically, they, you know, a lot of people try shoes on, they move around, they go between boxes, and sometimes you end up trying on one shoe, the box goes to the counter, they open it, they move it around, and you end with two different size shoes that look similar. So, just be cognizant of that. Um, anyway, that's just me rambling while I'm getting a little bit of a film in here. So there we go. As you can see, don't keep those unless uh, you want to prank, <clears throat> you know, prank your friends or your wife. Always good. Otherwise, we've got uh, a couple pairs of shoes. Ballet shoes. I'll tell you what, the first thing I notice is how freaking light they are. That is a very light shoe. So, what is unique about these? Well, the first thing you should see is obviously there's laces on it. Lo and behold. Um, what is my main thing is obviously they've got a nice solid heel. It's a molded heel. Um, you know, S-Works logo, great, whatever. Um, but it's a one piece molded heel. That's big. On the inside, we've kind of got like a two stage, I don't know if the camera's gonna show this very well, but we've kind of got like a two stage drop in the heel. And, and I've noticed on the torch, this is like my favorite feature. It locks the heel in so well. I'm just gonna grab my little, uh, my little light here. Let me show what that looks like on the inside. There you go. So you see how in the back corner, it's kind of got that drop, right? That really locks things in on your heel real nice. From my experience. Um, we've got a toe box, right? So when you're, when you're kicking your pedal to kind of flip it around and to engage the pedal, um, I dig how You've got a little bit of a, a, a pad here where you're not going to uh, damage the leather. Or not that this is leather, I, I don't know what this is made of. I'm assuming it's leather or some kind of fake leather-ish thing. But uh, I dig that little protective layer. On the bottom, we've obviously got super, super, super stiff sole. S-Works logoing, or logoing as well. We've got a heel pad so you can walk around and not scratch both uh, the toe as well as the heel. We've got adjustable placement on your cleat. So not only can you move the cleat around, right? Because the cleat has a level of adjustability to it, but where it anchors to has a fore and aft with marking as well, which is good for alignment. An intake on the toe, which is good for uh, air coming in. My concern is where is it coming out? And uh, I don't see it, so not sure how that works, but cold air's got to come in, and it's also got to go out somewhere. So we'll, we'll see how that works out. The liner is also foam, and you can get different liners with Specialized, 
but I will show this. Where that vent hole is on the bottom of the sole, you can see the perforations here. So the air is actually going to hit your foot. So maybe that's why they don't have an exhaust, is because the air is actually going through to your foot and will expel itself naturally. Fit and finish is, is right up there. It's, uh, it's a well-made shoe. You should just be able to look inside and tell. Consistent stitching. Yeah, very well made. Got some good layering on here as well. Around the heel as well, you can kind of see there's a different material, which is probably a higher of a higher wear material, which I dig. The, the heel, you can see there's an anchored point in the in the heel there, so that if you do want to remove that rubber sole, you can. If, it were, if you need to replace it over time. And then as we look in the inside, it, the main thing here is, so we've got some, some engineered material here where um, you're gonna add rigidity to certain spots down on the inside here. You can see kind of like an outline if it wants to focus, which it of course won't. Um, the main thing here is that the skeleton of, it, of the shoe, it's almost like these, these layers almost act like bones, kind of holding the rigidity of the shoe together, whereas the outside you don't see that, but it's uh, very resistant to stretching. That's the main thing, which is awesome. And then obviously the perforations all along the side, the toe, everywhere. Man, remember that air we were talking about coming in the bottom? Well, there, that's where it's going to escape in and out of, probably. And even on the tongue too, wow. I didn't expect that to be on the tongue too. That's a smart little feature as well as like the pull tab. Remember with laces, you're gonna be opening these things a lot more and, uh, and cinching down kind of that customization level. One, two, three, four, five, six different points of contact for the laces. Um, one thing I wish that this shoe would have came with is probably a second set of laces. I'm surprised that it didn't. Uh, even black, you know, kind of kind of mix it up, uh, or just a second set. It would have been nice, a nice little add-on. We've got that specialized logo down on the tongue here, at the very base, which is a nice little touch. And then where the where the actual laces are, you can kind of see it's all reinforced as well. So we have that metal cage at the top, a little loop, and then the actual punch. Remember I was talking earlier about the ribs, the bones, the structure. Well, it's all reinforced inside here, both with stitching as well as just the design itself. So those, those laces aren't going to rip out anytime soon because remember, this is a cycling shoe. You're going to be putting a lot of force through this thing. Now, some of the, the differentiators that I would say between this and a uh, standard you know, torch shoe, well, you're not going to look ridiculous in this if you're in a coffee shop because it looks more like kind of like a Puma shoe or like a, a modern Nike kind of recreation shoe because it doesn't have these big thick dials um, you know this is just looks looks aside right it's it's going to look more like a normal shoe uh, functionality is going to be a different conversation that I want to test out and try so I'm excited to try those out see what they're all about um, I got white because my city shots uh, shot twos are white and they're kind of getting on their last legs and uh, put a ton of miles in on those and, and I'll say this, like, I, I do have a lot of experience with a lot of different brands from Physique, uh, Specialized, uh, City, and uh, Lake. So, you know, I, I, I do know what I look for in a shoe, and it's pretty clear once you put one of these guys on. Um, as my friend uh, Steven kind of mentioned, is like, you have to understand before you try on a shoe like this if you're willing to spend the money. If you're willing to spend the money, try them on. If you're not willing to spend the money, don't even bother because the fit and finish and materials are at a different level than say a physique. So I will, I will leave you with that thought. Keep an eye out for them in the vlogs. I'm gonna be using these uh, probably a little bit outside, uh, a lot inside as well. And I just really wanna learn the fit. My concern with laces have always been uh, that adjustment factor, do I do I adjust? But the flip side of that is that, you know, the shoe's gonna break in and I can customize the points a lot better than a BOA can. So we'll see uh, from initial fit and finish. It, it's right on par, it feels great, it looks great. It looks the part, my God, does it ever. 
Um, so I'm excited to see what they're all about. Or all about, as they say. So thanks for stopping by, guys, and checking out the S-Works Torch Lace. And uh, keep an eye on them for, or keep an eye out open for them on the log. And uh, until next time, we will see you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.